All right, guys, let's talk about my late 2015 MacBook Pro. With the 2016 MacBook Pro not coming out until June, I want to talk about the current model, how well it works for me doing my daily tasks of video editing and programming, and how I think it'll hold up long term. So for a quick overview of what my exact model is, this is the 15 inch Retina display with the upgraded 2.8 gigahertz i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and most importantly, a 256 gigabyte NVMe solid state drive. Unlike most of my other reviews, there are a lot of things I love about this laptop and a lot of things I absolutely hate. Not a lot of middle ground with this laptop review. So since I got this thing for work, I do a lot of web and iOS development on it. So that means there's a lot of typing and a lot of windows being open on the screen. I need as much screen real estate as I can when programming. In addition to that, I do all of my video editing on this laptop, and in Final Cut Pro, the RAM and CPU really help out a lot. So what do I love? I love the backlit keys. In fact, I love the keyboard overall. I use a mechanical keyboard on my desktop, and I did not think I was going to like the laptop keyboard, but I really do. It has plenty of room and does not feel cramped, but it also has enough travel time to not feel like a cheap Ultrabook. The Force Touch trackpad took me a while to get used to, but now that I have used it for a while, it is just as good as the old trackpad, but with a second layer of pressure for some other features. The screen looks amazing at 2880 by 1800 resolution, but there are some drawbacks that I will talk about in a minute. In addition to everything I have mentioned so far, I love the connectivity. It has two Thunderbolts, one USB and a headphone jack on one side, and a USB, an HDMI, and an SD card reader on the other. I also love the turbo boost of up to 4 GHz on my CPU when trying to render a video or compile a project that I am ready to test. So that's what I love about this laptop. But let's get into what I hate. So the laptop claims to have 9 hours of battery life, which in my experience is a total joke. Let me tell you why. So when you get the laptop, the default screen resolution is 1400 by 900, which is absolutely impossible to get anything done on and is the same resolution of my three and a half year old MacBook Pro. So you can turn it up to 2880 by 1800, but Apple considers this to be scaling and mentions that doing so may affect performance. And while I never noticed the laptop running slower, I did notice a massive hit to the battery. I like my screen bright and my resolution high. And when I have both of these things enabled, I get a maximum of five hours when doing basic web browsing. But if I am programming or video editing, I get closer to three hours, which in my opinion for a $2,200 laptop is a complete embarrassment. Now I know I might not be in the majority here, but I feel that if you are going to advertise a high resolution display and a nine hour battery life, they really should allow you to do both of those things at the same time. The other complaint I have is heat. This might be an issue because of how most of the things that I do are CPU intensive, but this thing gets so hot to the touch that I actually have to take it off my lap sometimes. This is also coupled with a lot of other videos on the internet saying that when this thing does get hot, it starts to thermal throttle the CPU. Something I am not going to benchmark because there are tons of videos that already do that, but something that I have noticed is quite annoying. Alright, so I have a lot of things that I love and a few things that I hate, but what's the verdict? I personally like the laptop, but that's about it. I had high hopes when getting this that maybe, just maybe, if Apple delivered on its promise, I would finally have a laptop that I could keep for a while into the future. And while the performance, speed, and visuals of this thing are completely up to my standards, the absolutely abysmal battery life and heat issues make it more like a workstation with one monitor than an actual laptop. So in reality, I would be much better off just making a hackintosh with my PC and saving myself some money, which I ended up doing. So overall, the laptop might be great for someone who has one and only one computer and is looking for an upgrade. But if you are looking for high portability, this is not a solution. And if you are looking for horsepower, it's probably worth it to look into a more desktop solution like an iMac, Mac Pro, or a hackintosh. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And if you want to see more videos, slam that subscribe button. Later, guys.